Hi, welcome to the Pink Moon Tarot. I am the Pink Moon Tarotist and I'm here to do your daily reading for Wednesday the 30th of December. And I am going to use the Thoth Tarot deck by Alistair Crowley. For those of you that are interested. Now, I've not used this one much. So I may need to check what some of the cards mean because some of them have different names to others. Let's take out the bits and bobs. <laughs> and if you can hear that meowing, that is just my cat. <laughs> announcing that he's here. He likes to <laughs> let his presence be known. <laughs> so one of the three that I have. Okay, so let's have a look and see. What does Thursday the 30th hold in store? for the collective. Whee! And we start off with the Ten of Wands, Oppression. It's a very different deck, this one, but I love it. Okay. So we are feeling a bit oppressed at the moment, not surprising. And then we have, I think that's the second, Seven of Cups, De Bork. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles, Wealth. Well, that's nice. We have Death and the Hanged Man. I'll show you the cards in a minute, otherwise it'll take forever. What else do we need to know? Thank you, I will take that one. The Ace of Discs, which is the Ace of Pentacles. That's nice. Woo! Oh dear me. And we have the five of swords, strife, and the princess of swords. And I can't shuffle. Let's get one more. What else do we need to know? Thank you. And we have the lovers. Nice. And our overall energy is the five of, okay, that's the five of swords, so that must be the five of wands. Okay, so we have the five of swords, which is the card of defeat as the overall energy. So we may be feeling a little bit defeated at the moment, a little bit down. Um and a little bit oppressed with this Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about carrying a burden, um, but tens are a completion of the cycle. So that's, you know, that's indicating that we are ready to let go of that burden and to start to heal from it. But we may be feeling just a little bit exhausted and like we have been fighting for a very long time. That does not surprise me. Then we get to Borch, um, which is the Seven of Cups here. Now the Seven of Cups, this is your card of needing, um, needing to make a choice 
and not knowing what to choose, Ch kind of having a little bit of um, fantasy and s sort of not real choices in there and feeling a little bit stuck in that, you know, which which thing do we choose and can, you know, we can get a bit lost in our own um, fantasies here. But then we do go on to the Ten of Pentacles or the Ten of Discs in this deck, which is wealth. Um, so, you know, if we can let go of that burden and make the right choice, we can get to that abundant wealth. It's not going to come immediately because we have the hanged man in the middle here. The hanged man puts himself in suspension, but this does indicate a delay in, um, in gaining what we want. And also the hanged man um, turns himself upside down to get a different perspective on things, to look at things in a different way. So there may be a bit of that needed in order to let go of this feeling of burden and strife with the five of wands here. But there is the death card. This is such a cool death card. Um, and the death card is the ending of something. So this oppression, whatever is keeping you down, whatever is feeling like a big burden, will come to an end. And out of death is something is reborn. Death is death and rebirth. It's not just the ending of something. Something comes out of it. But it is delayed with that hanged man there. But then we have the Ace of Discs. The Ace is new ideas for um, uh, new ventures for some of us, new, uh, new work opportunities, um, new ways of making money. And it's a very grounded card. Discs are the Earth sign. They are to do with building something so it's planting the seed to build something that we're working towards this ten of discs here this ten of pentacles we also have the princess of swords now the princess of swords she's the equivalent of the page of swords so she is coming in to um give a message of the need to cut away things that don't serve you anymore, cut those ties, cut the cords of the, that burden, of, those, of that trouble and that strife that we are facing at the moment. But again, it has a delay because it's right underneath that hanged man card. And then we have the lovers and the lovers used to be called the choice so again, there is some choice to be made here. We've been getting this a lot. Um, the lovers can, for some of us, obviously mean um, an actual lover coming in. Um, or it can be, because it is underneath that ace and that ten of pentacles, it can be something you love to do. You know, planting the seeds of something you love and something that is going to make you money but like i say there is a delay to that okay so let's have a look and see i want i want the butterfly oracle cards because i want to know what this these are the life changes cards so let's have a look and see what are we choosing? What is what is causing us this trouble and strife? Although I think I probably know what that is. Um, you know, we've had a lot of stuff in the news lately about 
this um, new variant of COVID in the UK. And with so many of us going back into some form or other of a lockdown. Yeah. And we get the card of get some rest. It's important at the moment to get that rest. You know, this is where um, you get the time to recover. You get the time to heal. You get the time to think. And, you know, some of us are just exhausted. And that's, you know, that's why we need that rest. Because we just feel like we have been fighting a battle for so long. And for some of us, there are going to be some family changes. That, that can be that Princess of Swords. Some of us may need to cut the ties with, um, with past struggles and things that we have suffered within our family. Or, you know, it could be... Um, well, it could be anything, really. I mean, family changes, you will know what that involves for you. But some of us have family changes to face. And let's have a look at Healing with the Angels. Doreen Virtue again. Okay, thank you. And we get the healing card of trust. Trust that things are going to work out. Trust that letting go of that burden is going to lead to something better. And trust your intuition when it comes to planting this seed of something new that you want to grow. And along with those family changes, we get the healing card of children. So for some of you, this is about your children. This is about um, some of you maybe, um, maybe gaining new children. Um, we've had the Empress quite a lot lately. So some of you have entered a fertile period and, you know, there, there's new life coming in. Um, but... It's also about caring for those children and looking after those children and also looking after the inner child within you. I'm going to take a Wisdom of the Oracle, I think. This is Colette Baron reed Wisdom of the Oracle. what else we need to know for Wednesday the 30th of December. It's funny that we get the, uh, the card of children there as well for the 30th of December as it is my child's birthday. Okay two of them have flipped over there so let's take them both. Yeah again we've had this one a lot we feel like we're in a never ending story and it's not a surprise, you know, just when we think we're out of the woods, we go back in and um, it does feel for some of us like we are living in a bit of a never ending story. And that is the burden that we are carrying. But then we get the card of co-create. So this could be your Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you're thinking of starting a business with somebody that you love or starting a business with someone um, that is going to be of great help in raising your financial situation. Um, it could also just be that um, you need to create something um with someone else such as you know uh, a better family life a but but there is the need to co-create with somebody here okay i'm going to leave the reading there 
If this resonated with you in any way, would you please um, put a comment in the comment box and let me know your thoughts. Um, and uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your January readings will all be linked in the description box below. Um, and your annual sort of overview um, what's coming for 2021, a very quick overview of each month is also going to be um, uploaded very soon. So if you hit that little wiggly bell, you will be notified when those videos are uploaded. In the meantime, have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.